where those shootings happened and starts us off with today's new information. Jamie. Yeah, Louis Marinari said that he came forward a few days late because, first off, he didn't know that this incident had happened, and he says he wants to fill in some of the issues that happened prior to this violent act. I started screaming and crying. Then I called my mom. I was like, Mom, Ali killed Anna. She goes, No, he didn't. I said, Mom, he killed Anna. Louis Marinari says he and his cousin Ali Abulaban went out for dinner just days before the TikTok star allegedly shot and killed his estranged wife and her friend in the Spire apartment complex downtown. At dinner last week, Louis says his cousin's personality had changed dramatically. He pulls out like a full bag of cocaine, not like a little bag, a big bag. And we're like, what the hell? You know, are you trying to get us all in trouble? He goes, I'm Jin Kid. I could do whatever I want. Nobody can touch me. I'm Jin Kid, you know? Nobody can mess with me. So that's just to show you, like, fame really messes with people's heads. Abulaban, also known as Jin Kid, had amassed a following of just under a million people on TikTok. And his cousin Marinari says Ali's personality was starting to get wrapped together with the impressions he was known for. He was obsessed with Al Pacino and Tony Montana, and I think he started to believe he was him. Marinari says Ali's split from his wife Anna was too much for him to handle, and some of his statements in retrospect were far more scary than known at the time. If I can't have you, no one can. I thought that just meant he was gonna do everything in his power to get her back. I loved that guy. He was my best friend. We were very close. And while Louis says Ali is known for being generous, this incident has been tearing his family apart. I hate him, I'm angry at him, and I'm traumatized, and I never thought I would live this kind of trauma. Marinari says he's worried that somehow Ali will be let out of jail and come after him. He's guilty. And I hope to God the law does their job. A Bulaban has been charged with murder with special circumstances. Prosecutors are still determining whether they're going to be pushing for the death penalty. From downtown Jamie Chambers, Fox 5 News. Notable insight there.